Hey dolls, it's Theodore for Ask Theodore Thursdays. I'm so excited, it's been a while. I know I've made so many promises and I've broken them all. I'm horrible at all of that, but I'm really trying to get back on a normal schedule, so bear with me. I went on several vacations with Matt, my husband. We went to this beautiful place called Lake Powell with some dear friends of ours and we got to bring the dogs, we had so much fun. I've just been relaxing, and but on the professional end, I've been super busy. I got accepted into this thing called the YouTube Make Lab, and I've been filming some things at the YouTube space here in Los Angeles, which is absolutely amazing. I've been learning lots of new equipment, upgrading lighting. I'm taking editing classes at Apple uh, because I use Final Cut X and I want to learn more. I've just been doing so many things to learn and sort of really like elevate the level of my channel. I've been having so much fun. It's been over a year now since I've really started taking YouTube seriously and spending lots of time with my dolls. So it's been really fun and thank you for joining me and bearing with me on my Ask Theodore Thursday scheduling issues, but I'm really trying to work that out. So anyway, we have three fabulous questions to answer and I'm gonna get started. All right. Hi, Theodore. My name is Aliana. I absolutely love your videos and I have to ask you something. I'm glad you love them. Thank you. I have short hair and it is hard to get it to stay in place even if I use hairspray. Do you have any suggestions? School is coming up and I could use some extra help. That's a great question. A lot of girls are cutting their hair shorter, which is super fun for me because I love short hair. I love just the whole experience of cutting someone's hair short. And I love seeing girls rock short hair just on the street. It just, you're wearing a style immediately, which I love. And one of the ways that I love to style short hair is just, you know, back and soft. And I understand it does fall out of place. My hair does too. And what I like to do is I like to use a little bit of pomade, like a matte pomade. So I run that through my hair and throw it back and then I use hairspray. And it gives me a lot of control, but it's still movable. So I use the hairspray and it's still movable, but I also have the pomade. The other thing that I do is I do not wash my hair every day. Otherwise, I'd have flyaways and my hair would not stay in place. So your two tips are use a little bit of pomade before your hairspray and don't shampoo your hair every day. Great question. All right, next. Okay. My name is Olga. I've been watching your videos for a while now, and today I have a question for you. I've done lots of crazy things on my hair for a long time. Edgy pixies, bright colors. Now I have dark blonde dye job, 4.5 golden tone. Sorry, 7.5 golden tone. And I really want to make it a platinum, but I've never used bleach before, and I'm a bit scared of my hair falling out if I do. It's not a great um, condition at the moment, neither too damaged I think. Okay. Oh, she's saying it's not too damaged. Could you give me any tips on it? My hair is fine, straight, and I think my natural roots are 5.5. That's why bleach scares me and I can't seem to make the decision myself. Please help. Thanks for reading. Uh, P.S. Like 5.5 is like a medium to dark brown. Uh, basically, based on what I'm reading here, Miss Olga, I don't think that platinum blonde is going to be your look. First of all, 5.5 is definitely going to be very, very high maintenance. If you have fine hair, it's going to be more susceptible to damage. And it's just, it's just not sounding right. If your hair was completely virgin and it was shorter and you wanted to go platinum, I would say give it a shot. But if that's not where you're at right now and you have a lot of other colors, when you lift it, all those other colors will come into play and you'll have to address them at every stage. So if you dyed your hair dark four months ago and it's down here, you're gonna be dealing with it. Uh, it. It just can be a really complicated process and I don't want you to think that it's gonna be simple. Can it be done? Yes, anything can be done. However, your hair is not gonna be in great shape and it's gonna be very high maintenance. So at this point, I would put the brakes on it. If you decide to cut your hair short and it's virgin, go platinum. Okay, next question. All right. I just discovered your channel and it was awesome. You are so amazingly talented. Thank you. That's so sweet of you. I have a big concern about my hair that's bothering me lots. My hair is medium length, but as it grows longer, it falls. So by the time it grows longer, it will be very, very thin. 
I have tried everything to make it stop doing that, but then nothing really worked. I basically gave up on trying to find products to help me and just pray when I lose my hair. Okay, is there any hairstyle you can suggest to volumize my hair, please? Thank you so much, Beth Sophia. All right, Sophia, here's the thing. It's all about gravity. When your hair is fine and it gets long, it will get flatter. My hair is really thick and crazy, and so the longer it gets, it will still be big. It just will. At the end of the day, for you, the longer it gets, the smaller it gets because it just doesn't have the fullness. So what you want to do is you want to look for cuts that have angles, like a bob that is short to long this way will give you volume in the back because it's designed that way. So medium haircuts, shorter haircuts are definitely going to be better for you because the haircut is going to help you have volume. Now as far as products go, what I like to do is I like to use volumizers in the hair wet. So at the root, make sure you blow dry it really well. And that is gonna be the best way to add any sort of products to your hair. If you spray them on your hair while it's dry, it will go flat just because of the texture you described to me. So your two tips are get a better haircut that has more angles that are gonna flatter the volume you want and try some volumizing products like a foam or a spray in your hair when it's wet. Okay. That is all my questions for Ask Theodore Thursdays. I have a really exciting show that I'm doing. Um, I'm actually just doing one episode so far with Dress to the Nines. It's this really fun show where I do a roundup on all these different shoes. My friend Rachel does the show as well, and she's done so many amazing episodes, and I'm filling in for her. So check out Dress to the Nines on the Nine West YouTube channel. There's a little annotation here in the box, so definitely check that out. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And thumbs up for more Ask Theodore Thursdays. Thank you so much for letting me take a little bit of a hiatus. And I will see you next week. All right. Bye, dolls. Look at the camera. Say hi to all my dolls. Hi, dolls. Hi, dolls.